Hi everyone, Chris here. Just want to let you guys know that you can download the TMZ app through the Play Store for Android, the App Store for iPhone. So, this is what happens when you download the app today. We have talked about this guy before. I talked um, about him just yesterday. Michael Jackson's um, what, maybe his best friend in the world um, and longtime doctor uh, has died. And we did talk about him yesterday. Yeah, Dr. Arnie Klein. Uh, we were talking about him yesterday in relation to Prince Jackson, but Dr. Arnie Klein died in uh, Palm Springs. He had checked into a hospital four days ago, we're told, uh, and he had severe abdominal pains. Now, Dr. Klein was also suffering from MS. Uh, and we're told he was wheelchair bound when he got to the But we hospital. should explain why this is such an important story on a couple of levels. One, yesterday we talked about this, that Prince was, was intimating, no, I, you know, I may not be Michael Jackson's, uh, I may not be his biological father, but I do think of him as my father, or did, that's that's because he that, raised him. Because he raised him, and uh, Arnie Klein had put out rumors that he was the father. We are told that is not, that was not the case, and that's why we did the story yesterday. That's Arnie at the bottom, his ID, the and that's Prince, and it, yeah. the, the, the idea is to show the similarity. But the bigger thing I think is that Arnie Klein was so in the middle of what happened to Michael Jackson that um, months before Michael Jackson died, um, Jackson was going to Arnie Klein's office almost every day, getting shot up with Demerol for all sorts of crazy reasons, an acne thing here or this there. He was being put under. In fact, Arnie Klein had a gynecologist working next door, and he would take Michael over to the gynecologist's office, put him under. The doctor there said it was propofol. Arnie denied it, but said that he put him under for propofol for some acne excuse and a lot of people thought that Arnie Klein was fueling Michael Jackson's addiction well, and Harvey you know that they just showed it if you could show it again every time I hear Arnie Klein's name I think of that video we shot where right before Michael died oh, yeah. everyone wanted to know how addicted to drugs he actually was he's coming out of Arnie Klein's office and he can barely dazed, walk yeah and he's just dazed that people are kind of moving him around and that was the day when we all thought what's going on with Michael Jackson and, and why is he going back to that office yeah, all and the he time. kept going back there we shot him there like every single day with his black car would show up and in the end the reason we know how much Demerol and this is the second thing that comes up in my brain with Arnie Klein the reason we know how much Demerol he was shooting him up, Harvey, remember, Arnie Klein had the audacity at the time to file a creditor's claim once Michael died for the money he was owed when he gave Michael those treatments. And I believe the number was 16 yeah. in two months, times that he had shot him with Demerol for some reason. And everyone uh, no, that knew my, Michael my, knew was more addicted my, to it. It was, it was 51. Oh, see, it, I remember it, it being 51. crazy. And everyone was like, how could you file that document it was almost in public every, court? It was almost every day, and he for was for months, and he was shooting him up with Demerol, even though giving him everyone knew he was addicted. Giving to Giving him prescriptions. We should say Arnie Klein. He's just not any other doctor. Arnie Klein was the go-to dermatologist for celebrities: Elizabeth Taylor, Dolly Parton, Goldie Hawn, Dustin Hoffman, Sharon the, Stone, uh, the Botox Cher. guy, right? He, he and he was. He's known as the father of Botox. So he was at the top of the heap in that area, and after Michael died, when all of this started coming out about what he had done and using aliases to give him Business prescriptions, went, uh... he ended up declaring bankruptcy, and it was a quite the amazing fall from grace. Hey, Charles Harvey, uh, Chris here from uh, Seattle, Washington. My question is, is that um, since he was uh, doing Demerol, Michael Jackson was doing Demerol, did, do you think uh, he died from complications of giving himself Demerol or any other um, Botox doesn't, to doesn't kind of make himself sound like it. They said uh, at the hospital, they said that it was uh, natural causes. Uh, and he was 70 years old, like we said, and he was he had, uh, battling he, he, MS. He had failing. It's funny yeah. thing enough, uh, yesterday, um, one of the members of our staff in TMZ Live actually contacted him because we wanted to see if he would come on to talk about the Prince thing. Right. And he... Somebody was texting he texted back, back to us. saying, uh, we're not going to comment on, or I'm not going to comment on it this time. Uh, moving on. Everyone wants to know, how do you get on TMZ Live? Well, download the app, be on TMZ Live, and TMZ Live is on at this time right here. So, tune in to TMZ Live and the TMZ app. Thank you guys. Peace.